It's escapism. It's entertaining. They have wonderful performances by new and up and coming people. And they're stretching me to the limit on this one. I think people are going to be very surprised. This is, this is fresh. They keep calling it a throwback. If you want to call a classic filmmaking a throwback, yeah, great, it's a throwback, but it's, it's as fresh as anything I've ever done. And then I have Sarah playing my daughter, who has been raised terribly, obviously. I was not a stay-at-home parent, and she's not exactly the Sunday school type. The hardest thing to do in acting is be yourself. It really is. You feel as though, as soon as the camera rolls, you have to jump up and spin around and pick a dress of cotton. You know, you gotta do something extraordinary and pinwheels, because that's acting. <laughs> so everything becomes hyperactive when the real craft of acting is to appear as though you're doing nothing except reacting, not overacting. And I would say, in this film, it's the first time I've been using what I call full voice. In other words, me. And I'm not trying to be likable. I'm not trying to be, you know, uh, embraceable. Uh, I'm not trying to manipulate. It is what it is. And the scene will dictate, and I just rely upon Walter to go, good, bad, thumbs up, or let's try it again. Jimmy Bobo is, is a, he's very at, at peace with himself, you know. He believes he takes out the trash. He removes those hard-to-get-at stains in society. He plays by a certain rule. It, you know, it, he doesn't go after the people that don't deserve it. He's in the business of taking out people that are basically his kind of competition. Now, all of a sudden, he's confronted with something he's never been confronted with, is betrayal from within and a complete reliance upon an Asian detective who hates his guts. So it's not exactly a strong support system.